Put him in there. Gently. We'll deal with him tomorrow. Delson wasn't wrong. Now, how to find Stanford? This implant could be useful. It's a perfect fit. Let's see how it works. <clears throat> there, I've got an implant, but it's blinking. A clearance implant required. That doesn't work on corpses. I can fix that. They don't know everything about us yet. A closet. Hmm, disappointing. How strange. This looks like an implant scanner. Higher clearance required. Restricted access. Interesting. Hey! Who are you? You shouldn't be on this floor. Identify yourself immediately, or I'm calling security. It's entirely normal for me to be here. You have nothing to worry about. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm a little stressed out. Usually the men in suits stay downstairs. But you seem different. In a good way. Not like those Vatican guys, but I shouldn't say anything. You seem nervous. Is everything all right? Not really. Ever since those nut jobs took over, they've been acting like they run the place. Without a red implant, you can't do anything around here anymore. And I don't think your colleagues appreciate being kept in the dark. Before they came here and changed everything, it was actually pretty simple. What do you mean? Now there are tons more clearance levels. They're really proud of that downstairs. But the truth is, there are tons of errors all the time, and everyone has to update their implants constantly. Is that why mine doesn't work on the closet? Is that the first time it's happened to you? Unbelievable! What do I need to do? Just like everyone else, we're following procedure. Forget about the protocol for just a minute. I'd really like to, but I'll get in trouble. I'm sorry, but there's nothing I can do about it. Good luck with that. Reserved for the Society of St. Leopold. Closed. These hallways. They converted a hospital. Higher clearance required. Of course. Having the implant in my pocket won't work.
Here we go. New clearance. When Stanford learns that his colleague was held up, he'll want to know who was responsible for it. There will be consequences to pay. Stanford! Scan your implant. Are we all right? Yeah. Next time. Let me know. That was close. I'll have to be careful. It's much larger than I thought. Damn! Unbelievable! Fucking implants! Yeah, it's me again. I can't get into anything. Okay, go to the database. I'm telling you, the database is locked! If I keep it up, I'll block the entire system. Fault, we need to collaborate. Sorry, I don't see what else I can do to help you. I'd ask Stanford himself, but he's not on this floor. Have you tried the archives? The archives? You think so? Maybe. I'll take a look. Well, if I could open the door. An implant database. If it were unlocked, I could locate Stanford. But I would need a red implant to do that. One from the Society of St. Leopold. What do these symbols mean? Oh, what now? Please, the door won't open. I thought your test was over. Yeah, but you have to put everything back the way it was. Otherwise, the security blocks everything. I'll take care of it, but I have to finish this first. <laughs> Very practical. That's why we do our tests in the middle of the night. Yeah, yeah. If you're in a hurry, you can take a look. <sighs> I'll wait. Three members of the Society of St. Leopold are in charge on this floor. Faveron, Mana, and Gallagher. Are you waiting to go to the labs, too? That's more like it. That changed the number that's displayed. something in the archives, but I doubt I will.
It looks like a converted military base. Left over from the Cold War, most likely. When you're done with that, get started on cleaning the last tank. Very well. Hurry up, Henry. What part of I need those results wasn't clear? <laughs> A child would understand. Why can't good. you? A red implant. Maybe the one that I need. The epidermis is already breaking down. I've been working on this for way too long. This logger belongs to Professor Henry. Easy. Decontamination complete. Don't have anything better to do? In case you're wondering, this isn't dinner and a show. Get back to work. What the hell are you doing? I might as well throw that out now. Good job. Go get me this creature's cerebellum from cold storage. Here's the pass and the reference of the member I was working on. And hurry up! Decontamination complete. All right, concentrate. Is that what they've got planned for us? These people must be stopped, or we'll all end up here. I can't accept that. I feel that urge, like something is tearing me apart. Apparently you are in cold storage. Great. I'll unlock the box containing the cerebellum. Hurry up. Jara. I didn't approve of your methods, but you were always an effective spy. They managed to get you, too. What a waste. I never thought I'd be handling a cerebellum. I work better under pressure. Decontamination complete. Aren't you forgetting something you were supposed to bring me? Decontamination complete. You sure took long enough. I can finally get back to work. I need that. What? what? Ah! Oh. 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 
I have a red implant. Will it allow me to see Stanford's location? Decontamination complete. I'm not going to leave like that. All right, that's better. I need to see you there. All right. just came down. Ah! <sighs> the implant was deactivated. I need to be careful. That's the key to my cover. What? What do you want? My time is precious, and I've got a boss breathing down my neck. So if you have no business here, either leave, or I'll call your friends to drag you out of here. I'm doing an inspection. Oh, should I call you Inspector, then? There's nothing to investigate here. We're working, something you might not be familiar with. Now, get out of my way. We're all on the same team here. We're not going to get anywhere by tripping each other up. You're right. I get carried away. Sorry. I'm really under pressure right now. The problem with the tanks? You know about that? Yeah, that and everything else. There aren't enough of us to keep it all running and keep up the pace. Well, I'll be getting back to work now. Your shoulder. Are you hurt? What? Oh, that. No. It's blood, but it's not mine. When you spend your days dissolving bodies, you're bound to get splashed. I'll be on my way now. She has a red implant that could help me find Stanford. Huh. Rather effective. It appears as if acid has eaten through this cable. That needs to go right to the control panel.
That should help. works. Pyrolysis protocol. What? No, 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 don't, don't. Pyrolysis complete. It doesn't look damaged. The History of the Society of St. Leopold by Albert Lee Was there something else? Can you open this door for me? The warehouse? Why? Open the door. Now. I... Very well. Acids, thermite, liquid nitrogen. Nice collection. I need to see you there. Yes, of course. There's a red implant. It might be the one I'm looking for. Hmm. There must be a way to get him out of here. Excuse me. If you're looking for a little light reading, this is not the place. I'm looking for something a little different. Can I help you? The person in charge here. If I needed to talk to him, how would I go about doing it? It's not easy. In general, Father Joseph doesn't leave the conservation area until he has finished his work. If he's restoring something, it can take a long time. He locks himself in with everything he needs, food and drink, and we don't see him again until he's done. Not even a short break? He's stubborn. Some days he impresses me, others he worries me. That's just what it's like working with him. So he doesn't come out. That doesn't mean he can't be reached. He approves every request to borrow a book from the conservation area through a computer system. So, if I request a book, he'll come and hand deliver it to me? No, it's automatic. He'll just approve the request. His work is very important. We do everything we can not to interrupt him. I'd rather you not disturb him.
My job is far more important than dusting off some musty old books. I just need to talk to him, and he's impossible to reach. There's not much I can do for you. As long as he's working on his book, he won't answer. What's he working on? I have no idea. He's working his way through his list. Yesterday, I heard him say that he finished the authors starting with R. He was very happy about it. I see that we have collected a lot of things. Yes, and it can be complicated to find your way around. What are you working on? Sunlight. Burns them. End of story. It's a little more complicated than that. Yes, I imagine. Is it to improve the SAD's UV lights? Yes. I'll be going now. Oh, I'm having a grand old time. A new face, suddenly overcome by a need for reading material? I just joined the department. We've got a few too many newbies around here, if you ask me. At least you're not from the Vatican. Are they causing trouble? They're a real secretive club. Information doesn't circulate freely, if you know what I mean. That's pretty much the opposite of my job description. You work with them every day. You must have gotten to know them pretty well by now. Other than Father Joseph Manna, I don't see them very often. Is he the guy in charge here? Yeah, he's in charge of the Treasury Department. A real fountain of knowledge. He's a very kind person who's got a very interesting take on what we're doing here. Well, I've got a lot of work. I'll be going now. Can't you see that I'm busy? The glass-walled room appears to contain very old books. They're extremely fragile. There must be a connection. Cain went to Abel. Excuse me. My conviction might not be as strong as it used to, but I can still sense your true nature. My stomach is in knots. I'm not wrong, am I? And you aren't crying out for help? 
should I? We could just have a conversation. Quietly. Why? I've been waiting for this moment for a long time. To meet a kindred face to face. Who knows? Maybe you'll also learn something from the exchange. I am Father Joseph Mena. You can call me Galeb. Galeb? Very well. That's a much better start to our conversation. Or an exchange of best practices. I consider myself an interpreter of the great book of your existence. And you are a fascinating subject. Just what exactly am I to you? A variety of guinea pig? Have you heard of Raphael Renzi? I've heard that name somewhere. A Renaissance Inquisitor, if my memory serves me right. That is correct. I didn't expect you'd know him. Didn't Renzi have a change of heart? Yes. He came to believe that vampires were creatures of God, and as such, they deserved salvation. He was burned for his belief. That's the Inquisition's solution to everything. But Renzi's ideas were handed down over the centuries. The Church may have issued the Florentine Decree, but the questions he raised at the time still have gone unanswered. An Inquisitor with remorse? Something like that. You might be exactly what I'm looking for here. We could work together, but you're siding with the barbarians. A scholar like you has no place here. You're mistaken about us. Our common interest is to understand you. Then you must be blind. What makes you say that? Don't take me for a fool. I've seen what your colleagues do here. One dissects us like animals. The other is testing weapons. Your definition of understanding baffles me. Indeed, my colleagues don't all share my point of view. Admit that we can't just stand by and do nothing. Vampires are a threat. Why should I help you? I imagine your study of Renzi is forbidden. Aren't you afraid of being discovered and burned at the stake beside us? Of course. I am extremely discreet. I believe that there are some who are beginning to have doubts about me. Maybe you're on the wrong side. I see what you mean. You must understand my hesitation. If you were in my shoes, would you trust yourself? You're not a sheep. That's obvious. But that doesn't mean you'd help your enemies. You made your decision when you chose not to call security. There's no reason to hesitate now. You don't understand the predicament in which I find myself. It seems so simple when you say it. But if evil is among us, it will be difficult to defeat. Like the snake in the Garden of Eden. So, I'll cut off its head. You mean to kill Monsignor Stanford? You're mad. That's not the solution. It has to be done. I think I've proven to you that I'm a reasonable being. Well, you have certainly been surprising. I wouldn't risk coming here to eliminate your leader if I didn't think it was absolutely necessary. Indeed. If it's to serve the cause of justice, sometimes a sacrifice must be made. I don't know where Stanford is, but you can locate him. Chiara Favaron, in the clinic. She's the only person who has access to that on the main computer. Very well then. But please, no unnecessary violence. Leave, now, before someone finds us together. Not so fast. I'm counting on your discretion. And I am counting on yours. He won't betray me. And who knows, maybe I'll run into him again. It's unlocked. Temperature, humidity, that can't be good for the books.
doesn't look too good. Unit 731, Experiments on Human Subjects in Asia, 1932 to 1945. Hmm, wholesome reading. Concentrate. It would appear they are attempting to use our regenerative abilities on humans. They'll never be able to do it. Favarone thinks I work better under pressure. I need to see you there. By the way... I'm getting tired. Oh. Welcome, Counselor Favarone. Very well. Let's see if I have access to... Wonderful. I can access the database. Stanford. Based on the GPS data, he's not far off. But below me, there's something flashing here. What did I unlock? A draft by Chiara Favarone. Monsignor. I am very honored by your offer to take over from you, but I am afraid I must decline. Our strategy is flawed. I've already told you that, and I wouldn't want to do any dishonor to your legacy here. <sighs> Chiara Favarone. End of dictation. Interesting. But I'm here for Stanford. It's now or never. There he is! Take him downstairs. Today is September 6th, 2019. This is confession number six, conducted by Father Walter Stanford. I'm being assisted by agents Hawthorne and Beck from SAD. The blank body was apprehended in our laboratory. I imagine you used one of your little magic tricks on the guards at the entrance to get inside. I don't recommend that you attempt that with me. I must endure this. 
Very well. Let's get down to the heart of the matter. Begin by identifying yourself. Come on now. Silence is not the remedy. You disappoint me. I expected more maturity from an old leech like yourself. We know all about you, Galeb, Suleiman, Parasite. They're all just synonyms. Repeat after me, Suleiman. <coughs> Confite or Deo Omnipotenti. Repeat. Mea culpa. Mea maxima culpa. Bear your guilt until your imminent final death. Bear it, and may the Lord have mercy on you. But let's not waste our time on trivial matters. You're a businessman. After all, time is precious to you, even if you have all eternity at your disposition. What do you want? I ask the questions, you answer. Things will be clearer that way. What did you hope to accomplish by coming here? I won't tell you a thing. You'll learn that I admire courage. But sometimes it comes with a price. Pray, if you still can. Domine Lactinus. Maybe you'll stop your foolishness now. Be that as it may, you managed to find us. How? We have eyes everywhere. <laughs> Did you really think we wouldn't notice anything? Impressive. Not to mention the fact that you managed to get in here. That's no small feat for a vampire alone. Were there any lost souls that helped you? You'll never make me talk. This could all be so much more pleasant. It's my fault. I must not have made myself clear enough. <laughs> I take no pleasure in any of this. You're going to need to be more reasonable now. Let's try something else now. A subject that's especially dear to me. I know there's a place where you believe you are in safety. Since you know where we are, don't you think it's only fair that you tell us where you are? I won't tell you anything. We'll see how long you last. You leave me no choice. I'm going to have to purify you. I'd rather... Be destroyed. I don't think you understand. Again! I have so many more questions to ask. Let's see what I can find out from you. It seems we've caught another who's of greater interest than you. Who? See you soon, Caleb. <laughs>